Wow. Hey guys, Rainpree here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Today we're going to be playing the series where we're getting... Maybe we're going to lose. I don't know. I think we're going to beat France, honestly, because, you know, we have this delicious mountains and we're defending and everything. I think we'll be all right. Um, and it looks like our boys are doing a good job finishing up everything over there with uh, England. So uh, I think what's going to happen is we're going to do again. We're going to split this in half. We're going to create a new unit with uh, just the, you know, the, the, the fighting ships. We're going to split it in half, and we're going to only keep half with the transports. And I think we can pretty safely go up here. Uh, we might want to drop a, tr a, you know, a blockade over here. So I think we're going to head up and do that. Yeah, we have like 13 dreadnoughts in this navy, so we should be fine. Uh, yeah, we won the Battle of the Irish Sea, of course. Um, let's get our behaviorism. Just keep, keep getting our regiments experience. All right, and I'm going to grab all of our troops here. Okay, we're going to get on the boats, and we're going to drop them off here. Uh, they're just going to help us out, and uh, then I'm going to send this army back over to the Irish Sea to stop the United States from coming and unseizing the Great Britain over there. Uh, all right, so let's get these units into these battles somewhere. It looks like the only one that it still technically thinks we're losing is this one up here, so we'll reinforce there first. And the French are also reinforcing that one, okay. We will want to reinforce them, that one as well. That's fine. Alright, they're putting 300,000 down there. We will try to increase that, the, what we have there. As much as they do. And the good news is that what's probably going to happen is they're going to be like, alright, there's no way it's hopeless we can win one of these. So they'll probably give up pretty quickly. Alright, so England is pretty much 100% siege. Uh, alright. And plus we have the 50 battles still. So we got, uh, let's go for this one as well. This Port Elizabeth, Eastern Cape. It's another state though. Okay, so now what we'll be taking is this entire section in the south here. So even better, we'll probably go and grab uh, these two states. I'd like to touch my uh, my Spanish Africa's together. Yeah, they're going to beat us in there. But I mean, these, these battles are going to be insane how much war score they're worth, each of them. Spanish fascists. Okay, even cooler to have as our country is Spanish fascists. We're losing prestige left and right of the of, over this, of course, but uh, it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay. It looks like English are starting to have rebels. Not good, not good. Okay. We're only at 17 right now. So I bet you we could probably take Northwest England. Let's add Northwest England. And this will increase our industrial score to the maximum as well. I wonder how Japan is doing. They're technically in this war over here with us, so I hope that they're, you know, maybe are they going to, they're not going to seize the United States because they're not in the war, but, you know, maybe they're doing something over here against Colombia. No, Colombia is not in their, in the British sphere anymore. So I really don't know what the, uh, is this Japanese? No, that's Austria's. All right, looks like we're going to win all of those battles, so that's good with me. Uh, yes, almost see our splendor. We're going to need all the help we can get anyways. All right, let's protect these fascists in uh, in Madrid. 
I'm really curious, since the communist flag is so cool, what the fascist one is going to look like. And it's probably a good time for us to upgrade, or, you know, <laughs> upgrade, for us to change to be fascist now, is because, uh, you know, they, uh, well, number one, they're going to unseize this stuff from France, which is cool, and interrupt anybody coming to try to save France. Uh, let's go ahead and add uh, Northeast England now as well. I think we, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like, we're like, we're going to be able to take all of Ireland as well, or Scotland, rather. We already have Ireland. And we can go to allowed for slavery. <laughs> Alright, looks like people mostly are excited about those minimum wage. It'll be super interesting to see what fascism brings for us. Oh, hello, Japan. What's up? <laughs> Let's race to Gibraltar. Oh, our fleet lost. She. That's not good. Let's put this fleet back together then. Since I don't really think Scandinavia is going to be trying to invade us too much. And we'll use this because the, the French coming from the Gibraltar is really bad. Are they going to attack us there? That's pretty confident of them. Yeah, I thought so. I thought they would get wrecked. I'm not going to accept that, United States. You should know better. Yeah, there you go. That's what you get, little bitch. All right, uh, so now we're going to add, we got Northeast England, we've got Northwest, we're going to add the Lowlands. And this is the bare minimum that we want from Scotland, because then at least we can walk back and forth between Ireland and Scotland, but we'll probably take the Highlands as well, because that's, you know, why not? It's, it's not that much more. All right, they got Madrid. Horror! So now our... F Ooh, that is such a cool flag. Freaking Spanish fascists. What's our party, like, things? Jingoism, protection... Ooh, this is all so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, they're going to attack us again there and lose. Great Britain is not communist. All right, let's add the highlands. Oh, there it was. The Workers' Commonwealth. What a cool name. And maybe we'll take the Midlands and the Wales, too. That'd be cool, I guess, if we feel like it. Yeah, we're getting close to there, but I, I think we're going to be okay, because the stuff in Africa is going to be pretty cheap, too. Right, we got our research done. Let's get the education efficiency up more. We're going to get a bunch of nice literate people, though, from, uh, from them right now. Right, let's add the uh, whales. Cool. So I think that's going to look really smart. They're going to have this section in the bottom here still, unfortunately, but whatever, you know, it's going to look cool. And border gore is not going to be super, super bad. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's get a 14 hour work day, why not? Alright, so what are we at now? We're at 80, okay. And we got Hero Land down here. Uh, we need to add Nama Nama Qualand. It's a state, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
Okay, and then the next one we're going to want is uh, just this one here. Botswana, Southern Rhodesia, and Zambia. But we could probably just take Botswana and Zambia, because that'll, that'll connect us up. But if we can get South Rhodesia, then we'll take it. Botswana. And then we need uh, Zambia. That might still be a colony. Alright, and then the last one is Southern Rhodesia. Which I think we'll probably have room for. Yep, that might be actually almost 99 or something ridiculously close like that. 97, okay, just want to make sure. I know we took this. Did we take uh, Nata Zuland? No, let's add that one. I believe that was not a state. That's perfect! Excellent! So we're going to get all of South Africa and all of the island pretty much, except for the south part where London is and Cornwall and stuff. So, wow. That looks great. Spanish Africa got smaller, but oh well. But look at our industrial score, guys. Gonna open all of everything. I mean, the United States is gonna siege it now, but that sucks. So, whatever. Uh, it looks like we're gonna win up here, though. That's good. We got 48 war score against France right there. And we have 300,000 troops that we can go and muster down there to fight the, uh, the encroaching United States. What's this going to do? I don't see why you would ever want to do this. Let's go ahead and get our education efficiency the rest of the way up. Alright, and we can probably just go ahead and start sieging and... France, maybe? I don't know. How many units does France have? They still have 490, 499 brigades, which is pretty insane. Yeah, so we might want to back off there. We might kill this army really quickly, but... Okay, 103 score. Yeah, so we're never going to lose that. I think we squished that stack. Holy shit. Let's see what their army is at now. It's probably going to be pathetic. Which is excellent for us. Alright, France. Wow! That was more than half of their army right there. They just got wiped. Alright, so we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, so let's see, Francie Pants, uh, you probably want peace, right? Yeah, they would take a white piece right now. Let's get ourselves some more Jingo out of this. Uh, it's not that event. That was, the, that was when we reduced our infamy earlier. And this is the one we need. Alright, good. So we got our Jingo now. Uh, I think we want to take uh, Averne first. So 
So yeah, if we take out Vern and Limousine, I think that that will probably get us. We'll probably be able to get enough War Score for that. I'm really interested to see how many units this is in this battle too, because it might be the rest of their army that's over here. All right, and we have we have quite a few troops that we're going to be moving up now to start resieging and taking the fight to them. After we just literally broke them in half while trying to siege us. Alright, let's go ahead and give them what they want, what the people want. Trinket subsidies, sure. Yeah, France is like, uh, okay. I will take that. I, I accept. Alright, we need limousine though, too. It's ridiculous how much we're going to have industrial capacity now. I can't believe we're still number two. Who's number one? Probably France. Yeah, France is just slightly better than us. Very slightly, too. So, like, those provinces that we have sieged are probably what's holding us back from being better than them. This province is not connected to that one, so we don't need to be there to stop them from running. There we go, we got another 900. Oh, they ran to this one. Shit. Well, let's get our dudes there first. Alright, so they should have taken the mountain. Oh no, we took it, but whatever. We're going to finish them off here. We don't have our, our epic, uh, super awesome gas attack vantage anymore. Sad face, but uh, that should have been something I expected. You know, this is the Second Great War. By now, they must have gotten the defense. We did demolish the, uh, we did get a boost to our military power somehow. I don't know. I, I feel like we had 600 earlier. I don't really see what exactly. Maybe it's our, like, leaders and experience. No. Not really. I don't really know. Maybe maybe we uh, reinforced a bunch of brigades now that they finally could actually fight. They got now that they finally got out of the fights that they were in in those mountains. But it, that was super nice of France to commit all of their forces up there and let us kill them all slowly and surely. Because now we just get to freely march across and siege mainland France. Freaking mountains of doom over P overpowered. Over P. <laughs> They're so over P. And we're going to go siege Marcellus Wallace. Let's get over there to Toulon. And France is now like... um. Shit, right? God damn it. <laughs> That's what they're saying to themselves. I think we're going to want to take Provo or Rhone as well. So let's see if we can get that as well. Let's add that. Is Rhone what I think it is? No, right? There's Provence. French Provence. Okay. So we might not be able to get French Provence, but we'll try. And that'll get the French out of our Mediterranean. Alright, our airplanes are apparently getting attack and bonuses and stuff, so maybe we can actually build some. Yeah, I think we did. Let's go ahead and just queue all the rest of these guys to get built. I know they probably are going to get blown up. Oh my god, that's a shit ton of rebels. We won, and then we fought some rebels, too. All right, we're going to just go in, uh, go for the long, deep play over here. All 
All right, most of those guys are moving. We're going to just keep following them. I guess, th wow, did they just go socialist? Oh, no, they're back to Great Britain. So those liberals, those, an those 300,000 anarcho liberals we saw won. Big whoop, right? I mean, you know, big surprise also. That those, that they 300,000 of the, and we killed all their army too. So no surprise there, I don't think. Paris is actually only really, it's really small. The Ile de France is only three provinces. Looks like people wanted the safety regulations. I'll give it to them. We're going to keep on increasing our opinion in those areas. Alright, so we got our army should be like freaking set. We got all the attacks that can possibly make it better. Let's get our organization increased. Long live Spain. Yeah, kicking ass. Yeah, I would love to have Rhone too, but it's going to be hard enough time getting even just Provence. So I guess we might as well stop with that. Alright, well, that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.